Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Now Nation Recap. John Orlando here, joined by Mr. Michael Pagano. Michael, how are you doing this afternoon? We're doing good, John. As we are at the very last part of day one, a long day at Anarchy at the Arnold. Lots of matches going on. And I can tell everybody was just a bit tired and ready to get some sleep for day two. But anyways, we're going to be looking today at Eric Smalls going up against Brandon Fields. Now, this is a match that we saw at now six. And obviously, if you look at Eric Smalls, you would not think he was going to be able to compete with Brandon Fields. But if you saw now six, he picked up the victory mm -hmm. over Brandon Fields with a little bit of help from Onyx, but he was still able to pick up the victory. So now we're going to be looking at them once again at now seven. And we'll see if Smalls is able to pull off the upset once again, John. And, you know, here's one small fact that many people may not know about Eric Smalls. He is a very accomplished high school wrestler. Uh, in the amateur ranks in his division, he was pretty, 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 pretty darn good. I know that was a lot of pretties in there, but <laughs> he's really good at what he does, and he's managed to take that amateur background, bring it into the pro ranks, and has led him to lots of successful victories here in the world of professional wrestling. So let's get to this most unique matchup. Let's get right up to the ring to see Eric Smalls take on the professional Brandon Fields. This is a rematch from NOW6. Uh, the professional Brandon Fields, the Golden Idol, they demanded to have this match here today. And uh, their opponent is, uh, well, he's going to be an interesting individual because as we mentioned in NOW6, he is the half pint punk himself, Eric Smalls. And uh, we're still waiting on the arrival of Mr. Smalls here momentarily, but. I don't either. Smalls. It'll be worth the wait, though. I guarantee you that. I guess we don't have an opponent, so we can just go home. All right, the Golden Knight right. now on the mic claiming that there's no opponent. Referee, you want to start counting? All right, well, I, I'm i going to be honest with you, folks. Uh, Eric Smalls there he is. is looking forward to it. Here he is. There we go. All right. He's making his way and to the ring now. His opponent from Whitehall. This is a rematch, as we mentioned, from just a few weeks ago, NOW6. Which, which was good. Which was very good, you know? And you, 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 can't, you cannot underestimate Eric Smalls. I mean, I know many of you at home are sitting there going, but wait a minute, what about a small stature? Well, we talked about it. He's strong as an ox. He has that amateur background of his. And if you underestimate him, then you're going to end up looking up at the lights. Now. Little small little footnote we do have to mention. All right. Did you mean to do that? Did I mean to do what? Small little. Footnote. Okay. All right. That's not. Uh, that's not what I meant. I meant. That's why I asked. I just want to make sure. I know you're well, tired. A footnote that we must mention is the fact that Onyx got involved in their match at now six. On, that is an excellent point. But we'll see here. I mean, Onyx has already gotten a measure of revenge on Brandon Fields earlier today pretty much eviscerating him in their opening match for the tournament. But uh, it remains to be seen if Onyx will play into this match and, and be a factor. It's definitely a role reversal of sorts now for Fields, and I can see him trying to take his, his frustration back out. Let's be honest, he's going to have to gain some confidence. Yes, he is. So now we're going to run around, run around, run around, run around. It's a little game of duck, duck, goose, maybe. Fields missing. Smalls in the corner. He's going to try it again. No. Smalls has got that grin on his face. He knows. Wait a minute. Smalls is out, and he's going to crawl under the ring. Maybe. Maybe. Did he? He got Well, he's under the ring. Smalls is under the ring. Fields is looking for him. Um, well, he can't seem to find him. Wait a minute. Over here. Over here is Eric Smalls. He's, he's climbed down on the... Why are you telling me? 
jobs to report what happens. Not well, I was telling you that he's over here. And that oh, like, oh I'm not, see how tired I'm I'm not, I am? I thought you were telling no, Fields. No, Definitely not, not here. Definitely not here, guys. So, what in the world is the gold idol wearing around his wrist? What is that? I. It's looks, a, it looks medieval. <laughs> I don't know. It's a medieval timepiece. Maybe. Well, Eric Smalls has crawled over to the far side of the ring. Uh, Fields and the Golden Idol can't find him. Good thing that they're not detectives. They wouldn't get many cases solved. <laughs> Where did he go? Because I've completely lost He's him. over on the far side of the ring. Okay. Um, I guess Sean Lyle is making the count, so if Eric Smalls does not come back in the ring, good to know he can do that. I wasn't sure. Okay, and there he is. There's Smalls. He's going to sneak up behind. Brandon Fields will take oh. a bite. Ah, uh, taking a bite right in the uh, right sure in the rump legal, roast, if you will. But if you're going to do things illegal, having uh, that referee in the match to do it is the time to do it for sure. So drop kick to nothing. Drop kick to the butt again. Eric Smalls has certainly got the number of Brandon Fields. It's got to be frustrating for Fields. I mean, you got to feel for the guy. Like, oh, I do. He he, he accepted the the match at NOW six. He lost again. Onyx was involved. Wait, suplex? We call suplex here? He's got to block this, right? This. Uh oh. Smalls is trying to get the suplex, but now Brandon Fields has reversed it and big suplex. That, that makes a lot more sense. Now I just don't know what Smalls was thinking of going for that. He is strong enough to pull it off, but. So Fields almost disrespectful. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, speaking of disrespect. Wow. You don't cover any man with just a palm on your chest. So Matt, again, in his defense, I mean, Eric's been trying to make him you know, look silly. True. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Belly back suplex, maybe? Oh, goodness. Oh, my. It's a long way down. But answer my question, Matt, is he frustrated? Is he frustrated by the fact that he has a loss to this man that's in the ring? I don't see how he couldn't be. One, two, and another arrogant cover from Brandon Fields. Fields trying it again, but he only got a two count again. Both hands on the chest and a two count again. It's a tough situation no matter how you look at it for Fields because he's in a no-win situation, really. If he, if he beats Smalls, people will say, well, yeah, but you beat a much smaller guy. Right, right. If you lose to Smalls, then people will say, wow, you got beat by a much smaller guy. So there's really no win or advantage for him as far as the outcome goes. But he did get the advantage there as he just tossed Smalls' chest first right into the second turnbuckle. And Eric Smalls is looking a little worse for wear right now and choking Eric Smalls. Sean Lyle trying to get in there, laying the count on him. And he breaks before the five count. Golden Idol was complaining about the count. I think that count was fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was consistent. All right. The master of the chin lock, as he likes to call himself, the professional Brandon Fields is again just stepping on the back the neck of Eric Smalls and choking him around that bottom rope. Matt, you were going to say something? Have we even seen him apply the chin lock today? I uh, mean, we have not today. We have not, no. He may have. I mean, we've seen a lot today, so. I don't think he has applied the chin lock maybe, today. Possibly but maybe he was waiting to do it with the tights. I don't know. I don't know. Again, ladies and gentlemen, now's it's been a very long it. day here at the Arnold, but we're so glad that you're joining us here to check out this great wrestling action. Oh, me smash right to the side of the neck. One, two, oh my. Weak kick out there. Not That's sure got to kill. Left. That's got to kill because, you know, you touch the side of your neck, you're, it's all squishy. You got all those arteries right there. That's got to kill a man. I don't mean that literally, but it's just got to hurt like the devil. And there's and the there chin lock. it is, ladies. We Will got the chin tap. lock. Will he tap? Well, we've talked many times about it. It's Wrestling 101. You get the chin lock, it gives you a chance to kind of sit back and relax. Yes. Compose yourselves and it makes your opponent carry your weight and try to, to wiggle out of it. It's, it's, it's a great effective rest hold. Eric Smalls trying to get the crowd behind him. Smalls working up. He's the hometown guy. Yes, Whitehall not that far away from Columbus. And that was smart of Fields. He just tripped up small, so he goes right back down to the mat. And Fields has that vice-like grip right around the chin of one Eric Smalls. Just laying all of his weight on him, too, there. 
Yeah, all 207 pounds, I believe, Brandon Fields. Referee Sean Lyle checking in to make sure to see if Eric Small says, I give up, I quit. I don't think that's going to happen, but you still want to check. No. As I look over here, his family's here in attendance. He's not going to give up. I'm not saying that he's going to win, but he's definitely not going to give up. He's been counted out and been the underdog's entire life, literally. So. All right, back up to a vertical base, maybe. Yes, he gets to a vertical brace. Oh, jaw jacker using the top of his head to just bump down and uh, basically make Fields bite his own tongue, maybe. Miss the clothesline. Drop kick to the Tuckus. Here we go. Maybe dial it up, 614. 614 indeed. Small is going to the top rope now. He does like to use that flying body press as an effective offensive maneuver, but caught by Brandon Fields. Fields is going to turn him into what? Running power slam? Maybe, no, not the, sh yes, oh. okay. I thought maybe a shoulder breaker. Yeah, that's what I was seeing coming too. That's but that power slam was uh, just as effective. One, two, and he yanks him up. I, I don't know about that. Matt, you, you talked to me, you've been in the ring. Is that a smart maneuver? It wasn't the last time he did it. No. Because he definitely did that at the last show. But again, as you mentioned, Onyx was in the house. I don't know if he's still here or not. That is a great question. I do not know if Onyx is still in the building or not. Yeah, oh, wait, now, now wait a minute. Just wait one minute. Wow. Why is there a chair coming into the ring? What is Brandon Fields and the Golden Idol going to do? Just another stomp to the back of the head from Brandon Fields. What's he going to do? He's setting it. Eric into a chair. Why is he setting him into a chair? Referee, you gotta do something here. You gotta do something. You can't just let a man sit in a chair, can you, Matt? Uh, well, this guy's been doing it all day. I think maybe Brandon Fields is trying to load up the boot there, maybe, or maybe just get himself primed and ready to go. Drop toe hold into the chair, backfired on Brandon Fields. There goes the chair out of the ring. Here comes Eric Smalls up over Vader Bomb, maybe no moon salt. And one. Did he just two, three. He wow. got it. Unbelievable. He got it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest. <laughs> and that's what you get. Punk Eric Smalls. That's why you end it when you can. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Smalls picks up yet another victory over the professional Brandon Fields. Fields has got to have no confidence, man. No confidence whatsoever. It's got to destroy his ability to. Look at him. He's just dejected. Yeah. It's got to destroy his ability to think that he can be a winner in this industry. And John, what an upset. Once again, Eric Smalls able to pick up the victory over Brandon Fields. Brandon Fields is never going to want to see Eric Smalls again in the ring after he has taken him down two times. And Smalls was feeling pretty good about himself there. He wins with the moonsault off the second rope. And Fields struggling a little bit in the tournament. Also not able to pick up the victory over Smalls. So we'll see what he's able to do later on in the tournament. That's right. And, you know, one of the things you got to think about is that the confidence of Brandon Fields might be shattered a little bit by this loss. And, look, let's not take anything away from Eric Smalls. He's an accomplished wrestler. We've talked about it many, many times on many broadcasts that he can get it done in the squared circle. Yes, you might look at him and go, I don't know about this guy, but he is as tough as they come. And, you know, it, it should not surprise any of the NOW faithful that he got the victory at Anarchy at the Arnold over Brandon Fields. But you know what? You probably want to know more about NOW, like where we're going to be and how to keep in touch with us. Well, there's a couple ways you can do so. Just check out the website, newohiowrestling.com, and you can follow us on all the social medias. Instagram and Facebook is at New Ohio Wrestling, and Twitter, it's New Ohio Wrestling, no G on the end of that. And we'll get you all the information that you need and keep tabs on NOW for whenever we are back to live action. And I don't know about you, Michael, but I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully that is as soon as possible. Agreed. Well, for Michael Pagano, I'm John Orlando, and we'll see you next time right here at the Now Nation Recap.